Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope you're all doing really, really well. I am doing pretty good today because do you know what? January is finally over and we're heading into February. February the 14th, Valentine's Day, it's also Jen's birthday, so super excited for that. I'm so happy that January has actually finished because it dragged so much. And yeah, so I thought I'd kick off February with my January favourites to show you guys what I've been loving over the course of January. I will try and link them in the description below where possible. So I've got some fashion favourites and also some mummy slash toddler favourite products to show you. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments your thoughts. I love having a chat with you guys in the comments as always. So yeah. Without further ado, I'm gonna stop babbling and let's get started. I'm gonna start with fashion favorites. I had so many lovely compliments on my um, Primark haul video because I was actually wearing this jumper in cream. This is actually from Topshop and this is the black version, obviously. <laughs> and um, oh, I love it so much. As you guys know, I absolutely love polka dots. They just, they just brighten my day. It's just a really nice fit because it's a nice length. It's not like croppy or anything like that. Um, and to be honest, in you know when it's cold, you don't you don't always want cropped. Like you want something nice and practical. I like the sleeves because as you can see, it's got that oversized kind of feel. I just think it's very flattering. I love the polka dots, obviously. So when when it arrived in cream, and I loved it so much, I went on the website <laughs> and ordered it in black. Um, it's a really nice thickness as well. It's not itchy, and um, it's just a super nice jumper, so yeah. Okay, next up is actually a pair of trainers. Now, if you watch my recent vlog, you may have already seen these, um, but they are actually, again, they're actually from Topshop again. Um, so they are these chunky white trainers and um, they're like, it's got like a beige kind of coloring in and then white and they're they're pretty much like Balenciaga inspired chunky trainers. Um, but obviously I'm not gonna pay that much for Balenciagas because I, I do not have that kind of money. And even if I did, I don't think I'd spend it on trainers. I just, I just couldn't justify that. Obviously no offense to anyone that has bought them, but like, yeah, I just think, I just, I'd be too scared to wear them. I'd be thinking, oh my gosh, what if I get mud on them? I'm already scared to get mud on these because I love them so much. I mentioned these in my vlog. The reason I like them is one is because I just love the style of them and two, they actually fit me really well, and three, they are comfortable. It, I find it really difficult actually finding footwear to fit me because I have super narrow um, feet. They were like 32 pounds, I think, but I think I had a 10% off. They were doing like a 10% off code, which I had, so um, I got them for obviously cheaper, but they are so comfy, guys. It's like walking on air and they almost feel like memory foam. I don't think they are memory foam, but they're just super comfy. So but I really recommend these if you're looking for some like chunky trainers and you don't want to obviously spend loads, then these are so nice. Okay, now we're kind of moving into like the mummy favorites now. It's actually a bag, but it's a changing bag. So it's kind of fashion and mummy favorites into one. And it is this, oh gosh. <laughs> And it's this changing bag. So I had been looking for a changing bag for ages because the one I was using just wasn't suitable anymore. And this I found on Amazon. There are so many um, gorgeous changing bags out there, but some of them are so expensive. And I'm not being funny, but I don't want to pay loads for an expensive changing bag because they they could easily get ruined. I was looking on Amazon and I spent ages going through all the reviews and this one came up so I thought I'd take a chance and I love it. I've been using it and it just it's just so nice. Me, this looks so much more expensive than it is and it was so affordable. So it's got two straps. It's got like an adjustable strap here so it hangs perfectly on the push chair. It's also got the little strap and it's got a little clip as well that you can actually clip it like that it's got all different compartments um, making it super easy to just keep everything organized so I normally keep like snacks and things in the front pocket got some snacks in there so they're obviously easy to access these bits here I normally keep drinks in so I normally keep Leo's drink there and mine there and you know what guys for ages I was like putting things for Leo in my changing bag and then I would also take out my own handbag with my purse and my phone and makeup bits and stuff in there and then I thought what am I doing like 
it takes me longer to get out the door making sure everything is packed so now i just literally put everything in this changing bag yeah it's not like a posh brand or anything it's just like um a cheaper one that i found on amazon but i found it to be really really good yeah so it's got this big zip and you can get loads of stuff in it you can keep your milks in the pockets there and stuff um i like to keep my wipes in the pockets here and nappies and everything antibacterial wipes tissues like you know leo's shoes and blankets everything i need i just keep my wallet in there it's a little car in there because i always, always take some toys out for leo a really good buy and i'm so pleased i went for this and i didn't spend loads of money on um a really expensive one so love that so moving on now to like the mummy slash toddler products my first thing i wanted to mention is actually a cleaning product recently leo was really really poorly and he was actually he well he puked up on the rug in the living room and even though it was cleaned thoroughly we just couldn't get the smell out so um anyway spotted this in home bargains it's a disinfectant but what makes it like so much different is it's actually scented with watermelon and it smells so 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 nice it cleans and shines eliminates odors and give long lasting freshness after giving the rug a good clean with this honestly guys like the the horrible smell has gone now it's freshened it and it left a really nice smell of watermelon all on the rug and i just thought what a bargain you know like it didn't cost a lot it was from home bargain but if you're struggling to get like that horrible smell out then i really really recommend this doesn't it, it is cruelty free suitable for vegans it kills 99.9% .9 bacteria watermelon scented and it's also um it eliminates odors and leaves long lasting freshness so really really recommend it it's just called a fabulosa concentrated disinfectant and it's blooming great love it wanted to talk about this baby shampoo i've been looking for a new shampoo for a while the one i was using on leo was really irritating his eyes and he's got very sensitive skin he's actually has eczema so i have to be really really careful what i put on his skin i decided to try it this one from the avino baby range and it's a baby hair and body wash and it's so gentle and the smell of it it's so nice. Colloidal oatmeal and oat essence. It's actually suitable for babies who are prone to eczema. And the one I was using before didn't actually have a scent to it. It was completely scentless. Um, but I like the fact that this has a scent because I'm thinking in years to come when I smell this again, it will remind me of like the special memories when he was little and I used to bathe him. So I really, really love this one. If your little one has got sensitive skin um, or maybe eczema and you're looking for something, then I do recommend this one. It's super, 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 super gentle. If you watch my toddler gift guide, which I put out before Christmas, you would have seen the presents I got Leo for Christmas. And I asked you guys if you'd like to see a video in the new year, kind of talking about the toys that he really, really liked. He did love all of his presents, but there's definitely some that he played with much more and he was drawn to. The first First one is this puzzle now this i found on amazon i'll link it in the description below if i can quickly grab this from downstairs so it doesn't have all the pieces they're somewhere downstairs but basically it's like a wooden cogs puzzle where they can put the you can take them on and off you can turn the wheels around and it's kind of like a puzzle you can sort of put them back in different places and then they've got to work out how to make it all fit together and he leo is obsessed with wheels he loves cars and trains and he could play all day like with the wheels he's just got a fascination with the wheels so that's why i picked up this and um he just spends ages playing with it keeps him occupied he's has fun like taking them off putting them on and just spinning them round so yeah so this is the melissa and doug lock puzzle again i got this from amazon um and the idea of it is they've got all different locks and they've got to figure out how to unlock them once they do that then they open the door and you've, they've got all different animals behind the doors um again he just spends ages fiddling with this i think it's really helped his learning skills i love that it's got bright colors and all the different animals and i'm trying to teach him like the different animals really getting in to wooden toys at the moment i think they're better for the environment i just think they look a bit nicer as well and um i don't know they seem to last longer they're more robust so if you can recommend any good wooden toy brands please let me know in the comments because with his birthday coming up in april i think i'm gonna probably pick out more wooden toys 
and try and stay away from the plastic. But he's just got so much plastic stuff and I just don't think it's the best to have that much plastic, if you know what I mean. But yeah, let me know any good wooden toy brands that you, know, you may know in the comments. That would be really helpful. The next toy, I didn't technically show you in my Christmas video because it was like a stocking filler and I didn't like do the show the stocking fillers in the video. But he's so cute. I don't know if any other mums little ones watch this. So it's like an animation on CBBS, and it's this little bunny rabbit called Bing. It was so cute guys. Um, when Leo opened his stocking, like he was looking at the things and as soon as he saw this one, he was just mesmerized. He was cuddling him and just, he was obsessed and it was so cute because he has not really got a teddy that he is like attached to, if you know what I mean. But when he got this one, he was so in love. So I just wanted to kind of mention this because, um, yeah, I just think it's so cute. He's found a little toy that he really, really loves. So this next thing is a book. It's also a movie. So over Christmas, we showed Leo for the first time Stickman. If you're not familiar with Stickman, it was a book by Julia Donaldson. And then it was turned into an animation movie. Leo has absolutely fallen in love with it and um, he likes having the book read to him. Quite a calming movie to watch. Like if he's a bit upset or if he's been teething, we often put it on and it really chills him out. And um, <laughs> if you've probably seen this if you watch my vlog, but I found this in my local bookshop. I know they do them on Amazon. I paid about $7.99 for them and I think they're about the same price on Amazon. This, I just wanted to talk about this because um, if your little ones haven't seen it, it's a really nice, it is more of a Christmas movie because it's got Santa in it, but um, Julie Donaldson books on a whole are just so lovely and I'm like starting to show them all to Leo at the moment. He likes The Snail and the Whale, um, Room on a Broom, that's another good one. And the animations are just so nice and like even nice for adults. Like I'll happily sit there and watch Room on a Broom and Stick Man because they're just nice and relaxing. So the last item I wanted to show you is kind of random, but it's actually a homeware item. And I got this from Poundland, and I'd probably say like, this is my best bargain of the whole month. And it's this beautiful photo frame. As you can see, I've put a picture of Leo in it from when he was quite little. And um, yeah, I literally picked this up for a pound in Poundland <laughs> and um, I've been loving it. It's like a gorgeous monochrome print. It goes really well with the room. I just think it looks so much more expensive than it is. It's really stylish and I love it. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. You can also follow me over on Instagram, which is at Gemlo Valentine. I'll link it in the description below, along with my Twitter and everything. I hope you all had a great January and have an even better February and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.